I'm Christian Lamichka and today I present you Mark Newton. Mark, welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to be with you and welcome to Nashville. It's always great to be able to visit with you. I had an opportunity four years ago to visit with you. So uh, welcome to Nashville and it's great to be here and I look forward to our interview and please tell all our friends back in Germany we said howdy as well. I will definitely, I will. Mark, you have this great CD called the Mark Newton Band and the title is Hillbilly Hemingway. Folks, that you have an idea, we are talking now about this CD here and it's great stuff on it. And Mark will tell us now a little bit more about the CD and what he brought uh, to the table for the CD. Well, I, I grew up on bluegrass music and, of course, country music and, you know, listened to the Grand Ole Opry all of my life. Um, music was a big part of who I am and as a child. And so when I graduated in 1975, I've been playing music ever since. And of course, I've made my home here in Nashville for the last seven years. This particular record, Hillbilly Hemingway, was a record I cut here in Nashville. And of course, I had a producer, Carl Jackson, work with me on this project. And the title track, Hillbilly Hemingway, was written about Hank Williams. And I'm a huge Hank fan and huge um, historian and first generation fan that as as we know um, what country music sort of put country music on the map and Hank certainly was one of those guys my buddy Marty Stewart provided me if the folks can see the image of Hank's boots on the front cover and the tune was written about Hank Hank is you know got a, a wonderful side to him with all the great classic songs that he wrote but he also had a sort of a dark side and that whole song speaks to that the rest of the tracks on here are original tunes that my producer and I got together with the writers here in town and sort of arranged and put together and I'm really proud of it. It's done really well throughout radio and throughout the nation and I'm just extremely proud of it and so that's that's a little bit about the project. I could go on for hours but we'll we'll leave it at that. Okay, Mark, because that was a good point now, because we have a second C D folks. Um, that's the CD, so there are 25 songs on it. It's unbelievable. And Mark, please tell us something about it. Well, this I also wear a lot of hats. Not only do I wear an artist hat, but I wear, I wear an event planner hat. And so uh, I'm from Virginia. I was raised in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And 20 years ago, I was approached by the Graves family, which is a place in Virginia called Syria, Virginia, which is 60 miles east of where I'm from. Well, the Graves family wanted to put on a three-day event, and so 19 years later, it's still going on, and what we have, it's called Graves Mountain Festival of Music, and over the three days, we have 18 to 21 mainstream acts that are in our business in bluegrass music. And so I, along with the Graves family, founded the event. And of course, I also book all of the talent and schedule and program, etc. But for years and years, I wanted to record a live record at that particular event. And so I was able to pull it off with the thanks of Rural Rhythm Records, which is one of our independent labels we have here in bluegrass. And so this past June, we recorded, took the whole day on that Friday, June the 4th, and I used six acts. And um, for our bluegrass fans out there, uh, people like Russell Moore in Third Time Out, um, Lou Reed in Carolina, um, Audie Blaylock in Red Line, the Lonesome River Band, just to name a few. And then myself, I guessed, made a guest appearance in addition to um, Carl Jackson. So the record's been out about three months and it's doing really well on the charts for a live record so really proud of it in recent years I haven't been performing a whole lot on the road so what I do is sort of shift it and wear my producer hat so I'm involved with producing records and things of that nature so for our listeners out there they can go to um, ruralrhythmrecords.com and then once they're on the website they can uh, find this record and they can read a lot more about it so thanks for the interview and hope to see you soon. Well, thank you so much and uh, maybe I'll get to Germany here one of these days, but, but uh, I appreciate it very much.